Hello students, this is Mrs. Politsky, and I've got notes for 8th grade geography, chapter 12, section 3, Italy. So here we go. Uh, number one, ancient Rome and their culture still influences Italy today with its art, architecture, literature, law, political ideas, and the spread of Christianity. After the collapse of the Roman Empire, Italian cities formed their own states with their own governments, armies, laws, and wars. These cities became the center of trade and wealth. The Renaissance was possible due to the rich merchants who encouraged the, and supported the creativity of artists. One of the best known works of art from this era is the Mona Lisa by Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. Numbers three and four. Before the mid 1800s, Italy was divided into state, small states. Uh, the rise of Italian nationalism led to the unification of Italy as a kingdom in 1861 by Giuseppe Gibraldi. In the 1920s, Benito Mussolini came to power and placed Italy under a dictatorship. He fought as Adolf Hitler's ally in World War II until Italy was defeated in 1945. Numbers 5 through 7. After World War II, Italy became a democracy with a parliament and a prime minister. Religion is also very important to the lives of the, of the Italians. Most Italians are Roman Catholic. And the Pope, or the Vicar of Rome, resides at the Vatican, an independent state within Rome. Finally, religious holidays and festivals are also major events. Italian cuisine varies from region to region based on local preferences and products, but olives, rice, pasta, and tomatoes are staples throughout the nation. Numbers 8 and 9. Italy has been the center of arts because it has a long history as an artistic trendsetter and has produced some of the world's greatest artists. The economy in northern Italy is strong due to its fertile farmlands and major industrial centers and popular tourist attractions. Finally, number 10. Northern and southern, southern Italy are similar in that they have a shared religion and a strong family ties. But northern Italy is different in that it has fertile soil in the Po River Valley, major industrial sites, or centers, and it is the center of fashion in the city of Milan and has many popular tourist destinations. On the other hand, southern Italy is different because it is poorer than the north. It relies on the government incentives for building factories. It has a busy port at Naples, and Sicily is also an important island at the southern tip of the peninsula that relies on agriculture. All right. Thank you very much.